Morning, folks. We're out here in the barn. I'm gonna go milk a cow. <clears throat> Thought I'd try answering a question that I had. Maybe it'll help someone else. So the question I had was, was it, would a surge milker like that one run off an HVAC pump like this? Now, the specs on this one are that. Pulls, I think, for, for, uh, yeah, CFMs. So I thought I'd make a video for you, showing it, how it works. It isn't my main one. I just have it, <coughs> I have it just plumbed up in there, just for temporary use. Stick her in. Fire it up. So this is Clara. She's uh a grumpier today. She's whacking me with her tail a whole bunch and kicking. Not sure what her deal is this morning. She's not overly impressed. Grumpy. I imagine she's really full. She wouldn't let down last night. She tried to tried to trick it me. A big old bag on her. Oh well. We'll get her. So right now we're in spring thaw, so all of our Pan here is just disgusting. Oh yeah, you're ready to milk, eh? So we had 15 pounds per vacuum there when we started putting the teacups on. Now I have two big vacuum cans up here, about 10 gallons worth. So simply in the amount of time it takes to get those inflations, inflations on, we had dropped down to about seven. Right now we're creeping back up. So this pump actually produces um, a really nice vacuum. It's enough for one cow. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a regulation system on it yet. So being as I stand here anyway, I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. And if she gets up to over 15, I'll turn it off for 30 seconds or so, let her come back down to 12. And and so on, but you only have to do that about maybe two or three times.
you can kind of tell the level by the temperature difference in the milking can. It's not a bad speed right there. Speed her up just a hair. Doesn't take much. Now it's not crazy noisy loud, but it is kind of annoying. So if I was going to um, have one set up permanently, I would set it up away from my milking station because right now it's really annoying. In the manual for the surge milker, they say that you should pull it ahead as far as you can. I truly haven't noted a reason why, other than because, but I assume they built it for like that for a reason. <clears throat> so we're basically done now. It's just a matter of pulling it off and that makes her not happy at all. So, here we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it, eh, Claire? That's a first. Uh-oh. Well, can't say I had that happen before. I'm amazed that we didn't dump milk everywhere. Man, you're crotchety. What's going on with you? Funny, she has one of her mellowest days she was last night, and today she's angry. So that's basically that. Just basically let her go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you were appreciating this video, if you could just give it a simple thumb, thumbs up, that's going be great. Just lets other youtube know that you enjoyed yourself if you want to subscribe and stick around i'd love to have you anyways thanks for watching guys bye for now